Roxanne reached out to me because she's concerned that there were many false statements made about her, and she wanted to share her truth about what really happened. I first met Nicholas Cruz when I lived next door to Nick, his brother Zach, and their mother, Linda, in Parkland, Florida. Linda, Zachary, and Nicholas' mother and I talked every day. In October 31st of 2017, Linda drove herself to the hospital. She contracted pneumonia and the flu. Linda didn't have much longer to live. So I immediately rushed to the hospital and spoke to Linda and told her that I would keep my word and take care of her sons. Nicholas lived with us for a little less than a month. And at first, he was on his best behavior. But then we had to make a number of 911 call. The first 911 call occurred because my mother had found a receipt of Nic in Nicholas' room for a gun and bullet that he had purchased from Dick's Sporting Goods. For the third 911 call, on oh, 911 call. Nicholas had been punching holes on the wall in my house. I called 911. By the time the police came, he had left the house. I told the police about prior incident that I knew of in which Nicholas had put a gun to his mo mother's head and his brother's head. I also told them about other warning signs. Law enforcement said there's nothing could be done. When Nicholas returned to the house, I told him that I was either, it was gonna be the gun or us. He had to choose. He could not have both. He chose the gun. I told him that I could not have guns and violence in my house and he would need to find another place to stay. I am so glad that the young people in Parkland and across the country are marching this weekend in support of change and gone laws to help protect children at school so they could feel safe again. I am a parent and I am supporting them and I'm very proud of them.